Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add some custom forms in PrestaShop in 2024. Of course, adding your forms to uh, PrestaShop is very, very useful. And custom forms are essential for gathering customer information, processing some inquiries, or even conducting surveys. So let's dive into the steps to create and add a custom form in PrestaShop for 2024 and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and access your back office but first if you don't have first of all a PrestaShop installed you can simply open a browser go to the CRL section basically just type Presta shop.com hit the enter button once you do so click on login if you have an account and click on get started if it's your first time of course if you have it if you don't even have it installed make sure to click on get started here you'll find th three options classic hosted and custom so for classic it's free to download for this one you'll need to pay a plan and for this one as you can see you'll need to contact them so for the free download option, as you can see, you'll have to fill up your email, your profile, then click on download and you'll be able to download it. After that, you'll have to follow, as you can see, some steps here, a step-by-step -step guide to create your online store if you don't have one already. Click on launch step one and follow the steps. As you can see, you'll need to get a hosting uh, provider. They show you here a list of their hosting partners like this one, Presta Shop Hosting, or this one or Hostinger, each of them comes with its own services and price. So depending on whatever you want, you can get that. If you don't want that, if you want the, the other plan, as an example, the hosted plan, you have yourself on this page. Here you'll be able to start your free trial, which is 14 days. If you like it, you can keep with it. If you don't, you can simply just go with the free one, but you still have to get your hosting provider. If you don't want to pay anything, you can simply host it on your local PC. How to do that? As an example, I've already made a video about it. You can go and check it out. Or if you don't, you can simply follow this article. So I'll open a new tab. Just here, type install as an example. So install Presta Shop on local host. Hit the enter button. Click on the first link. And you'll find yourself on the most useful article to install the Presta Shop on your local computer. As you can see, the steps will be highlighted here. If you can do it by your own, it will be good. If you can, simply follow these details here of each step. As an example, how to install local server application, how to install the zip presta shop, how to start the servers, how uh, to create a database, as an example, and a lot of other stuff. Once you finish all of that, you'll have access to the front office of your website and the back office also. So as we said, if you want to add a custom form in your Presta shop, you'll need to go and click on manage your store to access the back office or back office of your store, of course. And this is where you'll manage all aspects of your online store. So once you are there, on the list panel, you'll find the model option section. Click on it and under that model, you'll be able to click on the model manager. And this is where you'll manage all the models installed on your store. Once you click on it, of course, you'll be able uh, to see the search bar. Click on it to look for a form builder model. These uh, or there are several models available, such as Contact Form 7, Custom Contact Forms, or even PrestaShop Form Builder. You can choose a model that fits your needs and click on the Install button next to it. And once it's installed, you can click on Configure to access the model settings. In the form, of course, like uh, builder model configuration, you can simply or you will see an option to create your new form, click on add a new form, and you can add your name or your form, something relevant like contact us form or customer feedback form. And of course, you will need to add the, the fields that you want to include in the form, such as name, uh, maybe email, phone number, and the message that, as an example, if you want to have a message in the form and etc. A lot of things that could be added in the form. So you can use the form builder interface to drag and drop some fields into the form and customize their settings. And after adding the fields, you can configure, of course, that uh, settings for your custom forms. For example, you can set some uh, form appearances and choose the email address where from submission should be sent and customize even the success message that appears after the form is submitted. So example, maybe thank you or whatever you want to put in there. So take some your time to explore the customization option and make the form match your store design and requirements. Once you're done, you can click on save the form 
and now you have created your form you can simply add this by going back to the design on the left panel and click on pages then select the page where you want to add the form if you don't have any space for it you can simply create a new page as an example and click on edits in the page editor you can add the form by using a short code or form widget depending on the form builder model you installed if they give you code copy it and add it on a code block if they give you the widgets simply you will find the widget there and you'll be able to place it so place the form in the desired location on the page and save the changes after adding the form to your page it's time to check how it looks and work in the front end you go back and discover your store on the front office and see if everything works correctly visit your store home page and navigate to the page where you added your form fill out the form submit it to ensure it works correctly and that you receive the form submission make an necessary adjustment like in the back office if needed if something isn't working as intended of course if you need more uh, help you can always look for articles for forms example so how to add a form in like presta shop as an example you can type that in google and you'll find uh, not a force form and of course you'll find a lot of articles example uh, or forms example how to add that for example how to add a form on presta shop website so they show you exactly how to do it basically as you can see you'll have to go to shop parameters and etc so they show you everything how to do it so but this one it seems like they have a, a, a hosting provider and they're not hosting it locally so it might be a little different for you but it should be the same so you have to go to design pages to add it to your things and etc the same steps that i told you so if you get confused while i was saying that you can simply follow an article here or even the form here, an example, this is one is given like a code or something like that. If you read it out, you'll understand what they're talking about. And yeah, that should be it for me. You successfully added your custom form to your PrestaShop store. So thank you for watching. And of course, custom forms are a very powerful tool for gathering information. So make sure to have it if you're trying to gather those. So again, thanks for watching and goodbye.